have uh, 6.0 in each band in IELTS. You're a baker by profession with 10 years experience. You're 39 uh, years of age. Am I eligible? You have not mentioned eligible for what? Uh, are you asking about eligibility for a resident visa or some other kind of visa or are you eligible for studies? If you are talking about uh, you know, the uh, student visa, for instance, because you want to do the study plus settled pathway, uh, which is, of course, the recommended pathway, as I keep saying uh, over and over again, because if you're not in New Zealand and if you're, unless until you're a super smart um, guy from a, you know, long term skill shortage area with tons of experience, it's almost impossible to be able to find work uh, directly, uh, you know, uh, when you're not in New Zealand. So if you're talking about eligibility to be able to come on a student visa 39, absolutely no problem. Uh, because you've got to bear in mind that uh, for there's no limit to education. I mean, hey, look, I'm a 50 year old guy and, you know, every year I go and do another uh, course from a local New Zealand institution. I mean, last year, no, I tell, uh, yeah, 2018, I uh, did a, a level three in uh, Tikanga Maori, uh, where, you know, I have to learn about the local customs and traditions of the Maori people. And I think I was, I, I don't think I was the oldest guy in that class. I think there were people who were well into their 60s who were part of that class as well so absolutely no problem about age uh, and uh, i mean hey look 39 is a young age man i mean it's like not even you know you're talking about 50 year old guy so it's like not even a big deal to be honest so yeah i think uh, you should seriously consider because bakers uh, patisserie and chefs and those kind of you know cooking related people are also in demand in new zealand so i would strongly encourage you share your numbers so our team will get in touch with you and you know you can pick it up from there and see if that suits you don't worry too much about the investments you've got to make into finding into uh you know getting into education because as i said if you are a good uh, you know patisserie chef for then you do come over and finish the course and get yourself a two or three year or however many years of post-study work uh, visa you get and you find yourself a job and even if you get at a minimum 50 or 60k i mean your investment of money is kind of recovered all in the first year. So I, I strongly think it is a beautiful investment to make. And yeah, the, the trade off the, the payback rather not trade off, but the payback is that you will get to live in a beautiful country like New Zealand, safe, secure, uh, welcoming, friendly.